Once again, I'm going to Holland Horror Nights, so disclaimer, some of the footage may be intense for children under the age of 13. If that is you, think about turning it off. Just want to give you a heads up. I want you guys to enjoy these vlogs. And some of these may be a little crazy. I'm here while Peter's being scared by all the scary people at Halloween Horror Nights. <laughs> what is better? Boo. Come on! <laughs> Boo. Boo. Good evening everybody, and I'm running solo today. I don't know if Sarah's gonna get any chance to vlog or anything, but she's hanging out with some friends of the Bugs to help stage their house to get ready for photos to sell it. And uh, I am heading back to Halloween Horror Nights, meeting up with some people here. I know at least Sean is coming, and I think some other friends are coming too. This will be a fun, exciting night. I have no one to jump onto when I'm scared, so gotta have to have a backbone. But since I'm not a, an annual pass holder, I can't get in early. I also think that was only like limited one time. Um, so even if like Megan and Kitty were here, I think they were only allowed that one visit early. But I'm allowed in at 6.30, it is 5.20. Got a little bit of time to kill, but I don't always get to go through these shops. So I'm gonna kind of peruse a very warm uh, city walk today. I will say it's a good thing we didn't really start coming to Universal until Sarah and I already decided to downsize and live sim more simply and cut off the co coffee mug collection because this one is beautiful and so is that one. I would have bought those right away and uh, we would have to have just like a standard Universal Studios one, like something like this. But let's be honest, the real money spending and space grabbing and unnecessary purchasing would be for Sarah and I in the Harry Potter world. I gotta get out of here, but it's hot out there. But I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go see what what, what kind of crowd we're looking for for HHN. And I think Sean's already in there. Sean got here earlier. They also are selling all of the HHN merchandise in the studio store. So if you don't have tickets, or you think some of these are just awesome, like you're a big Trick or Treat fan, or Chucky, or Killer Clowns, it's a it's a big one by real. Real masks, eighty dollars for Michael Myers, seventy for Chucky. I think those are ninety. I heard, but I don't see a price tag up there. And of course, the big, big Kahuna of the year, Stranger Things. Oh, 95 for the Slim Clown Max mask. The big test tonight is the radar. Looks like it's about a 40, 50 percent chance through like 11 o'clock. I don't know what happens to the scare zones if it rains, but it definitely. Looks like it's gonna roll in here, but how cool would it be if it was like drizzling, creepy at night, with killer clowns going on. I'm getting the nervousness going on, and I don't have anybody here to help me stay calm. All right, I just got a, a good phone call. Good news is I'm not gonna be alone very long. All right, here we go. It is quarter to six, quite the crowd. I missed this last time because we did the AP stuff. Look, who I found, I found Sean. I'm here. Introduce me to his friend Sam. We tried Moxie. Check out Sean's yeah, video. Really, Whenever I, you get that up. It was really good. It'll be tomorrow. Tomorrow or something? Yeah. We'll link it eventually. If it's not up when this goes <laughs> up, we'll link it at some point. We should do it at the same time. We gotta talk to the boss about that. Yeah. yeah. It was really good. It was like black pepper, Dr. Pepper, I think you started, right? Yeah, Dr. Pepper with pepper. It was really good. I, I kinda have an aftertaste, like a burn. Yeah. Let's do this. Alright, we're going in. It doesn't technically start for another 30 minutes, but they open the gates, they let everybody through. Ooh, baby. Here we go. So it begins. Are you ready? No, 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 no. But are you ready? Let's do it. I'm ready. Good. You ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Oh, man. So we're doing Halloween 4. First house looks like 
maybe a 10 minute wait, if that. You know what was fun is that last year this was a saw. It was, and it was so good. And here we begin. Woo! So, first house done. What do you think? Uh, I thought the, the design of the house was very awesome. I love the design of it. Um, I don't think the stairs were like, they were lacking. They were lacking so bad. You wanna know my problem with the stairs in a house like this? It's the same stair over and over again. Right. Which I guess, how many villains are there? But the design of the house was like, I thought it was beautiful. Yeah. Like, yeah. Having, like going inside like the hospital and transitioning to, um, you're inside like some like electric hangar bay or whatever, and then transitioning that into uh, the house. Like Lori's house. Yeah. Uh, I thought that was beautiful. The sets were awesome. All right, so it's seven on the dot. We've already done two houses, and Seeds of Extinction was supposed to be a really good one. It's only 15 minutes. We just did trick or treat, and I, I kind of got scared. They had a lot of jump scares. That one was a really good house. Like details, probably the best I've seen. I think it worked better at the house than the scare zone. Oh yeah, definitely. I it was, the scare zone was fun. This was this like, one was way better. Was awesome. Way better. Yeah. Love so, it. Seeds of Extinction, I have no context. Is that original? I think so. I, I mean, love AJ Jones' original stuff. Wait, is this from a storm or is this part of the house? We've overbuilt. They got, they got some work to do. All right, so Seeds of Extinction was really good. Um, It was like really sci fi. I love the whole like clicking, the whole like, like the there was buses a, are flying. water on you a lot? Yeah. Yeah. That freaked me out the first time. No, Did you see the plane? Yeah, the, the best one was because there's like wind effects and then like rain in there. It was like you entered a rainy scene, and I was like, oh, this is perfect. This is beautiful. They like, just they just keep killing it. One one good set after another. I'm kind of nervous for the set. rest. No, it's not as good this year over here. Last year was the clowns. Yes, with chainsaw still. With chainsaw. So this is where. Uh... Oh hey! <laughs> hey, I got my buddy right here. <laughs> I, I had to run. She had didn't. To run. She didn't get you. I was waiting the whole time. I thought you knew because I had my camera out. She didn't get you. No, no, no. Sam said I ha we have to get Coke Zero, and he doesn't know about the DVC lounge. But here's the ultimate test. I need to see if they have one drink. Yeah, go ahead. It's the. It's. This is the, the factor. Wait, where's the cream soda? Is there cream soda? Oh, the Barks cream soda. Strawberry no, no, no. Barks no, cream these... soda. No, no, no. No, it's not the same. It's not. The it's cream just cream not the same. I, I'm sorry, Sam. Great, I can't commit. To purchase in this because I can't get my strawberry box cream soda. Ah, uh, by the way, you drink strawberry fib, you'll forget all about your cream soda. No, no, no. no. You'll be too caffeinated. Well, to well, he's right. TBD. TBD. Here's the weight for Slaughter Cinema, and you can faintly see it, but I didn't know this was happening. At night, this there's actually trailers for all the the rooms projected onto that screen. This is the drive then. Now it's time. I'm gonna. Look, this is my. This is my favorite house, and I get the most scared because every room is different. Woo! Still the best house, Sean. Uh, you know, this, this house undeniably is the best house uh, thus far. This house right here, well, this, I, I can't say so much enough about the cleverness of everything that went on in this house. And I love how every room was so different. That's my issue with Howlin' Horns well, overall. It was almost like going into like different genres. Yeah. All right, so the, the, the golden time of getting short walk-ons is now over. Both of those are 25 and 30 minutes. Guys, patience. What is patient zero? Dead exposure, dead exposure patient zero? It was okay. It was like 28 days later meets Planet of the Apes meets a lot of strobe lights. It's the lowest on my list right now. Oh my gosh, we're about to do Blumhouse. Go back to the vlog with Katie and Megan and me. We were all, we stopped right here. It's a five minute wait and so begins the rest of the night with very low lighting, terrible shooting accommodations. So the vlog's probably gonna get pick up pace now. We've made our way to Vamp 85. You all left me. So this is cool. So this is the countdown to 1985. I don't know how often that happens. About every, about every 10 to 15 minutes, and then there's like a 15 minute break, and then they start over. Wait, okay, Brian joined so us. Should be going in about five minutes. Brian joined us. He's been fighting. Hello, how are you? He didn't do the last two houses with us, but we're ready for house now, right? You are. I am. So I'll, we'll put his link down below. It makes great time. Theme park Orlando 360. All right, so I always, I loved, I, every time I've been here, I've loved how this building looks. And we're walking into Poltergeist. It says a 30 minute wait. It's a 30 minute wait to Poltergeist. We got persuaded by, by Big Fan Panda to come do this because. He wants Sean to go on it so bad. Yeah, we we he, he talked to me earlier today. He said you got to do Poltergeist, the best part, uh, best 
house. And but not Sam's the, favorite house, right? Oh yeah. Not, it is your favorite. Oh no, it's just my favorite. Uh, I probably put it at like somewhere between two and four. Right now I've got it. Uh, uh, Slaughter Cinema. Yeah, Poltergeist, and then. Uh, Graveyard. So yeah, I'm super right excited now. for Carnival. I'm not super pumped for this, but I'm hoping that it's gonna surprise me. Uh, I gotta say, that was well worth the wait. Best house so far, and I don't even have like the biggest connection to that movie. I've only seen it once in my life, and it was probably Poltergeist 15 years ago. was genius. This was what I wanted um, Patient Zero to be. It was a nice blend yeah. of, you know, they didn't overuse uh, the strobe. Yeah. They, they used it minimally and it came out perfect. Absolutely. That was incredible. It was one of my favorites. Sam, you were right. Sam was right. Always listen to Sam. Alright, Sam pointed out we gotta we gotta get to the vamp 85 because they're about to do the countdown. And when they begin the feeding of all the vampires. <laughs> 45 minutes. We're going for it. We're going for it. Stranger Things, 45 minutes. I'm a little sad because we went on Stranger Things and there were two like really big moments that like to, for me made the house that didn't happen and that was John's first time. Yeah, I, I put it really low on the list. The only problem with uh, the Stranger Things house there's too many good guys. Yeah, they, they're using good guys to scare. We got 10 minutes till 10. We're killing it. We only have two houses left and they're right next to each other. We're going on Scary Tales now. Then we're going to do Carnival. And if it's not too late, I'm able to convince this man right here to go on Forbidden Journey. Oh, let's do it. Because... Or the Hogwarts, or the uh, Gringotts. That, that's what I mean. Not Forbidden Journey, Gringotts. I'm, an, I'm new to the universe. I'm Don't new. worry. That's, that's why you have me. Uh, you know, I come here quite, you know, Quite a little bit, so yeah. I know a little bit, a little bit about Universal. Yeah. But Sam left. He was tapping out for the night. He's it's got us. freaking fear. It's just us two. 20 minutes for the last house. And with Carnival of Graveyard, we have now completed all in one night. HHN, 28, all the houses. Only within like a good four hours. Four and a half hours. It's about 10.30, right? Uh, yeah. We're gonna treat ourselves, and you know what that treat's gonna be, Sean? What is it? What we gotta do? We're gonna go check out that time frame for that little old ride called Gringotts. Oh, my favorite ride. Beautiful, beautiful reptile up there has honored us. A 10 minute wait for Gringotts. I'm so excited. <laughs> so is this the second time you've been on this ride? This is the second time in my entire life I've ever gone on this ride. <laughs> this ride is fantastic. Here's where the wait starts. Ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. We are back in Gringotts after quite the adventure. And I must say, it was just as fabulous, if not a little bit more. It was great. Last time was the very first ride ever. And this was almost just as good because it was just a 10 minute wait, and it was our cherry on top of accomplishing all 10 HHN houses in one house. night. So, just for your reference, it's two more hours. It's 11.05 p.m., two more hours of park time. Look at all these 10 minutes. Times are so good tonight. All right, we got crazy with ourselves. We got some water. It's only 11. We. It's a 10 minute wait. It's, it's a slaughter cinema. It's a, it's I got it. Yeah. Yeah. And now we'll get a good view of the projections of the trailers. Oh, that's right. It's Sean's like top three. It's my number one. I, I think I'm convinced it's my number one. Fantastic. I'm in the car. It's hot. About five hours. All 10 Halloween Horror Nights houses. One repeat, so 11 houses. One ride on Gringotts. All scare zones. <sighs> Sean, Sam, Brian, thanks for hanging out tonight. Thanks for watching tonight, everybody. It was incredible. This is why I got the freaking fear pass. And we may be coming back next week. Thank you. I'm signing off now so I don't wake anybody up when I get home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, 
It's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.